Hey guys, thanks for joining us on this Good Friday as we make a tomb out of salt dough. We're gonna bake it, paint it, decorate it. It's gonna look really cool for Jesus. So what you're gonna need, you're gonna need flour, salt, a rolling pin, and some oils. Measuring cups are helpful too. I've also brought out a foil lined baking sheet so we can stick it in the oven for our tomb to dry a little bit faster. One ingredient I forgot to mention is water. We do need three quarters cup of water. Very important for making the dough. So I forgot to introduce you to my lovely assistant and lovely daughter, Amelia. She will be helping us out today. So the first thing that we're gonna need is two cups of flour. So lovely assistant, would you put the two cups of flour in the bowl? One. And. Two, a half a cup of salt. One, and hopefully we can make it with two. Two. Ooh, barely enough. Mm -hmm. there, there. A teaspoon of oil. Teaspoon? Yes. How much milk? One teaspoon. Whoop. Rolling down. And three quarters cups of water. Mm hmm Okay, here's our water. Water. Dump that in. And it's about to get pretty messy. I see. Two hands, wish it around. Wish it around. Okay, guys, this is just a cool. Well, my hands can do this. Here. Okay, after several minutes of mixing and some movie magic, we have a nice dough ball. So we're gonna need to roll this out and then we're gonna place it over a glass bowl or you can use an aluminum foil can or aluminum whatever can to bake it. Okay. You can switch it with your hands or you can use the rolling pin. Mm -hmm. Like this? Yes. Do it with all of your might rolling it. Okay, great job. Let's do it this way too. Yeah. Okay, next, if you have cooking spray and a glass bowl or your can, you can place it underneath. Mm -hmm. So, lovely assistant, would you hang on to this? You want it. And then we're gonna spray down our glass bowl before we put it on, just so it doesn't stick. And then you wanna place our tomb over on it. Smooth it out. Smooth it. Smooth it. Smooth it. Smooth it. Smooth. All right. Yeah. Now we're going to use something to cut it into a cave shape. So a nice hole to make it a, a tomb. So I have my measuring cup from before. We're gonna put it on the side. Side? Yep. To make a hole. Put it in good. Just like you would a Play-Doh. Okay. And do you like this rock to be your tomb door? Yep. Great. So we're gonna put this on the side to dry. And you can leave this outside for several days to dry or in your house for several days to dry. But yes, we'll take raccoons or squirrels won't eat it. 
but it will take several days and you do risk the possibility of like Millie said raccoons and squirrels eating it mm -hmm. so we're gonna stick ours in the oven to dry a little bit faster okay now our tomb is ready to go in the oven we want to make sure that our tomb opening is nice and big because it'll shrink as it bakes we have our oven set for 250 degrees. It's set to bake it for a couple of hours. We're gonna keep checking on it until it's dry. Once it's all baked, we're gonna paint it, put some cool foliage on it. It's gonna look really awesome for Jesus. So now that our tomb is mostly dry, we're gonna paint it. So we picked out some white, black, yellow, and orange paints. We're gonna try to do a little bit of a rock rock texture to our tomb. So we're going to pour our paints into the trays. Okay, once you get to a color that you kind of like, you can start painting. Okay, so now we're gonna let our tomb dry and then we're gonna decorate a little bit more. Okay, so while our tomb was drying, we picked some cool flowers and to go around it to decorate it because it's theorized that he was in the garden tomb. So we wanted to make it look like a garden. And of course we have a white piece of cloth because when the rock was rolled away, all that was left was a white piece of cloth. So I hope you guys have a wonderful Easter and remember what Good Friday means. We'll see you next time.